Hello everyone, Tectosleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are going over the software review series, and today I'm going to discuss uh, one of the three popular antiviruses that are on the market today that are free, and that is AVG Free. Now, I wanted to make sure that I gave it a fair and accurate review, but uh, before I get started, just remember if you go to my website at pcmichiana.com, that's p-c-m-i-c-h-i-a-n-a.com, there's a link on the right-hand side. I do have a copy of all the free software I discuss in the software review series. If you scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see I have fastest web browsers, anti-spyware software, antivirus software, infection removal tools, etc., etc. What we're going to talk about today is the AVG free antivirus, which you can download there. And so let's go ahead and get started. Now when you've downloaded AVG Antivirus, what it does is that it downloads actually a downloader and installer. So you're not actually downloading the full version when you select the download. When you actually open the file and click Run, then of course you're going to click Next. It's going to check your connectivity and it's going to actually go online and download the application so you can run your installer. Once the download manager comes up, of course, you want to select the free basic protection. If it's for personal use, if it's for business use, you're actually not allowed to use this, uh, the free version. Uh, but then click Next. AVG is then going to go online and download the installation files necessary to actually run the installation. After the download is completed, of course, you're going to get the acceptance notice. This is making sure that you know that it's just for personal use. Just click Accept. Of course, the licensing agreement is going to come up. I have to tell you, make sure you read that. And of course, I'm sure all you do. And <laughs> click Accept. It's going to scan your system for viruses that may already be in your memory. And it does this as a preliminary check just to make sure that you're not infected with something that may corrupt it during the installation. Now, if you already have an antivirus installed, it's going to yell at you and tell you that you should uninstall your previous antivirus before installing AVG Free, and that is true. Make sure you only have one antivirus installed at any given time. Click Next. Do Standard Installation. Uh, go ahead and pick whatever username you want. The license number is already a generated free one. Click Next. This asks you if you want to install the toolbar. I never like to install toolbar, so I uncheck it and click Next. Then it gives you a setup summary. Go ahead and click Finish, and it'll start installing AVG Free. Once you've installed AVG Free, it's going to, of course, put a desktop icon on your desktop, and it's going to run your AVG First Run Wizard. Now we're just going to go ahead and click Next past the first one. It asks you if you want to enable your daily scanning. I never enable the daily scanning, and it says I strongly recommend you do, and uh, I don't because it's annoying. Then go ahead and click Next. Of course, the next thing it tells you to do is you need to read the privacy policy. And uh, yes, I've read it. So uh, of course, you should read it and <laughs> click Next. This is the automatic update wizard. Of course, you want to click Next to actually download the updates. I'm going to skip it for now just for the uh, tutorial's sake. Next, mm -hmm. if you want to register, I usually don't register. Just click Next. Then, of course, it says congratulations. Your installation is complete. Then click Finish. Of course, now after you've installed AVG Free, you can go ahead and open it by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop, and that's going to bring up your AVG Overview. This is going to tell you every service that's currently active in your uh, AVG antivirus. Of course, you have your antivirus, which scans for viruses, your anti-spyware, which scans for spyware, your email scanner, which is only for email applications that are on your computer, not your webmail. So like Outlook Express, Outlook, um, Thunderbird, those types of things. Your link scanner scans for malicious types of links. License, of course, is your free license, your resident is your active real-time scanner, and your update manager, which is your uh, automatic updater. Now, don't worry about ID protection unless you wanted to have that extra security feature. You can read more about it, of course, at AVG's website, but uh, the free version does not include ID protection. Now, with antiviruses, one thing that I've always been a fan of is simplicity is key. AVG Antivirus Free is by far, as far as I'm concerned, for the three free antiviruses, the most intuitively looking antivirus. Now, of course, the bottom of the page are going to try to notify you and tell you that you need to update your uh, antivirus to AVG full security. Usually, I hide the notification, and that's pretty much how they try to sell their licenses to you. Um, of course, if you want to do updates, you just click Update Now, and that'll run the real-time updater. Click the computer scanner, and that'll let you do uh, real-time scanning. And it, it's just real simple and straightforward, and that's one of the reasons I'm a fan of the AVG product. So AVG really does take the cake. I mean, it's really hands down one of the easiest antiviruses to work with. It's the one I recommend to people who uh, who aren't exactly computer savvy. So for, in that respect, AVG definitely gets a 5 out of 5. I mean, the interface is just it's just beautiful. That being said, I don't like to give a review without getting some other opinions, of course. I can't just say, hey, this has worked great for me, so it will work great for everyone. AVG Free, as far as other reviewers, uh, has quite a reputation to it. If uh, we go to cnetdownload.com and read the editor's rating, it gives it a 5 out of 5 stars, and the user rating is 4 out of 5 stars. Of course, I'm a little more lenient when it comes to free software on my reviews because, well, quite frankly, it's free. So uh, this is a pretty good factor for determining how users are, are happy with it. You got 19,346 votes, which uh, 4 out of 5 stars is pretty darn good for that many amount of people. But uh, let's get a more reputable source as well. 
There was a video done by uh, Gigafied, and I'd like to thank him for the avcomparatives.org, ab-comparatives.org website, and in it they do a third-party review of a whole bunch of different software. And here we're going to look at where AVG landed. Now this is for detection rates and false alarms. Detection rates and false alarms for AVG actually fell in the two out of three stars category, which actually puts it in the same category as Avira, which is also free, and Avist actually has one step up from it for detection rates and false alarm. So for detection rates, actually Avist is a much better product. So that bumps it down a little bit in the free software as far as comparing it to others. Next, we're going to go ahead and look at the performance test, which basically tells us how well it runs on a computer. Of course, on the actual certification levels, we have AVG 2 out of 3 stars yet again. But notice that Vira and Avist actually have 3 out of 5 stars. So out of all three free antiviruses, we're actually looking at AVG as being the worst in performance and actual detection rates. Well, tied second place with detection rates. But they do fall into the worst category of free hardware, which of course will bump it down because performance is what I care about the most. Although the interface is extremely nice, we're looking at poor performance and we're also looking at low detection rates compared to the other two free alternatives. So that unfortunately is gonna put AVG free at three and a half stars out of five, which if it was actually software you'd have to pay for, then I would probably drop it to a 2.5 out of 5. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys found this uh, review and rating both informative and educational. Don't forget to swing by my website at PCMichiana.com or by my channel. I have tons of videos, and I'm going to try to put a video on here every day. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. I am going to be doing the reviews on the other free antiviruses as well in the future, and I will probably also be doing reviews on the commercial ones. Thanks again.